taking all the rust off of these pans, putting them back in storage and bringing all the new stainless out. That was stupid to put these out here. I, I thought the seasoning would hold up, uh, but I was wrong. This has been in here overnight. It's two gallons of vinegar, just plain white vinegar with the rest water. So I don't know the exact mix, but it's certainly doing the job. The rust is uh, coming off. If you wipe it with your hand, you can see that it comes off. You get this black stuff all over your hands. So I'm going to use gloves and I'm gonna take them out in the driveway and just hit them with the pressure washer. We'll see how that goes. But all of those pans fit in this tub. And I think overnight is probably good enough. I've got a couple other things to do this morning, so I'm gonna wait and do them a little bit later, but definitely works. Definitely, I can see how they'll be completely rust-free. And unfortunately, they're gonna to be totally stripped also. So they're gonna to need to be seasoned relatively quickly to prevent any more rust from forming, especially here in Florida with the humidity. So this is going to be a project to get them reseasoned and then um, out of the humidity in storage because uh, I'm switching to all stainless, as I mentioned. So I'll show you those. I'll show you those next. Here's a look at these pans, the new pans. If you haven't seen this kitchen yet, uh, I'll post a link right up above for the making of this outdoor kitchen. It's a, I think it's a 16 part series. I can't remember how long, how many series, uh, how many videos I made, but I'll show you how to make the whole thing. Came out really good. And these are the new pans. They're made by a company called Solid Technics. It is the Noni series, N-O-N-I. They are made in the US. They're made out of a four series stainless which is the same type of stainless that they use for exhaust systems. Uh, it handles heat really well. It doesn't rust, obviously. They've been out here for about two months. And so far, I'm pretty happy with them. They clean up really nice, obviously. I've used a couple of them and it doesn't even look like it. Uh, but that is the new collection. So eventually I'll make a video uh, close up of these. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please subscribe. But in the meantime, let's get back to the uh, pressure washing cast iron project. Next up is to pressure wash all of this. I took them all down and they've been in vinegar and water overnight. They are, once I blast it with the, with the pressure washer, it'll, they'll be perfect again. I'll have to season them all, but could have done without that project. If you follow my channel, you know that all of this cast iron hung in my old kitchen. I'll actually put a link here. I thought it was great. I used them all the time. They were right there above the stove. And when we moved to this new house, it really just doesn't fit the decor. And my wife never liked it. So I figured I'll just hang them outside. The seasoning is good enough. It wasn't. I was, I had no idea. I figured it would hold up better, but live and learn because this was a major job that I really could do without. Uh, I had this outdoor kitchen project going, a number of other projects, and uh, I finally just bit the bullet and invested the time in stripping all of this. Uh, so that's the story behind the scenes here. And keep watching, wait until you see how amazing the pressure washer is on this stuff. It just, I'll always do it this way.
was pretty gratifying and pretty easy. Um, you can see like some of the cast irons already getting a little bit of a oxidation rust on there, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and season these uh, tonight. I don't think I can fit all of them in my Traeger, but uh, what I'll do is bring them inside so there's no humidity or very low humidity, right? And then uh, as many as will fit on the Traeger tonight, I'll go ahead and bake them for 400, let them cool, and then in the morning give them another coat and they should be uh, right back to brand newish. If you've never done these outside, I highly recommend it. It doesn't stink up the house and uh, you get you know a really good result. I use avocado oil. I know a lot of people have beliefs on different oils. That works for me. Uh, but um, I do two coats normally and then or I'm sorry, not two coats, two passes, you know, two times an hour. Um, the first time I do it at like 400, the second time I do it at about 450, and then I also burn in the surface later. I'll leave these in for an hour. Once it hits 400, and um, we'll see how they look. This is round two. They look great. I'm gonna stop at round two. This one even, uh, my hand's a little wet. I just rinsed off my hand. <laughs> They're a little bit warm, but uh, this one's coming around. Maybe a handy little pan. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Blanc Creative, looking good. Nice and black. And this is just right out of the smoker. Hasn't um, hasn't been uh, you know coated in oil again. Uh, but anyway, that is it. Two coats, two times, 450 for an hour each, and they came out great. So that concludes this video of stripping, pressure washing, <laughs> and reseasoning uh, cast iron and some. Uh, and some steel. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for new completely random videos all the time. Really appreciate your views. See ya!